stand by. Rolling. Speed. Mark it. Help yourself. Scene one. Shot one. Take five. Action. My name is Jessica Christman. I'm a junior here at UAB. I am majoring in psychology and I'm double minoring in theater and film. And I wrote and directed a short film called Help Yourself for my Film One class this semester. In Filmmaking One, which is the beginning filmmaking class, we have students come in and normally they write a script, a short script, uh, two to eight pages. They plan for the shooting of that. They cast it. They shoot it and then they cut it together. Help Yourself is about a young man named Jake who is saved from a near fatal car accident. Um, the man who saves him subsequently steals his phone and as Jake chases him he finds a gateway to a new world where he meets a girl who helps him realize his full potential. On my set, a lot of people held many different positions just because we didn't have enough people to have one person per job. Hi, my name is uh, Joseph Botkin. I'm an actor in this film. Jake's role's a bit mysterious. He's just kind of an everyday sort of man. And, and then a not-so-everyday situation just kind of plops into his lap and he has to deal with it and react to it. I'm Blake Tanner. I'm going to be a, I, I suppose, Jake as well. I'm going to be his body double. I'm going to be chasing him at one point or another. Hey, I'm Kara. Who are you playing? A uh, girl. Her name's Girl. <laughs> um, I'm the assistant director, and like Jessica's the director. So basically, I, um, I'm right under her, and I um, appoint everybody um, to what they need to be doing. Um, so. Kara, she's right now, she's an, she's an actor, but right now she's a grip, so she just basically helps with everything around the set. Joseph, he's an actor, um, and Sam, he's another grip, so he just basically helps with like, you know, um, all the lighting and um, all the setup for this scene and stuff. I had many people doing the same job or multiple jobs. I had a lot of people who were the second camera assistant, which is the person who runs the slate. My assistant director ended up having to do sound. I was the director and I was also the director of photography. The director of photography is the person who runs the camera and actually gets the shot. I was also covering audio, making sure everything sounded the way it was supposed to sound. Movies are made three times on almost every level. The first time it's made is when the script is written. Pre-production is when you plan for the shooting of your movie. So the first thing you do is you write your script, of course, and you have a, a story. After you write your script, you do your storyboard. Your storyboard is a series of pictures that plans out every shot you're going to get in your film. This storyboard is a frame-by-frame -frame picture of what your movie is going to look like. I had a pre-production meeting. Not everyone in our class did this, but I had one because I wanted to have a table read just so I could hear the actors before we got on set to see what their interpretation of the script was before we started shooting. A car approaches Jake at a high rate of speed. Suddenly, a man in a hoodie runs towards Jake and pushes him out of the way. The man takes Jake's phone without breaking stride and runs. Hey, it's my phone! Jake runs after him. Hey, it's my phone! The second time you make the movie is when you shoot it. Because that script has to be interpreted and a vision has to come from it. We make movies out of order. Um, for my film, we shot everything that was outside on the first day and everything that was inside on the second day. So even though the outside scenes are actually the bookends of the piece, you're only on the outside in the beginning and the end, we shot it all in the same day. I shot the same scene multiple times from multiple different angles 
just to be sure we cover all our bases and to give me something to cut away to to make sure I had a good shot. Who are you? I am not important. I am not important. I am not important. The third time you make a film is when you cut it together because you take that story, you shoot that into pieces, you take those pieces and you put it into an editing program and now you have to find a way to make all of those make sense to have a story if it's a narrative film it'll have a beginning a middle and an end that makes sense to the people that are watching it i am so lucky to have an original score being written by iron giant percussion they are a award-winning percussion group from here in birmingham and they all actually graduated from uab justin wallace sam herman i'm brett huffman seth nogla we're iron giant percussion <laughs> Given the nature of the film, we thought that it um, would work to have things that you sounded a little bit more suspenseful um, or even ethereal. Um, so we, we tried to go for things um, such as like any of the, the chasing scenes, we tried to, to do things that had more of a rhythmic pulse um, or the things that were a little bit more bizarre. Uh, tried to do some uh, some more ambient type tracks to kind of capture the otherworldliness of that. Um, and then we just put some pretty music in there. We use a lot of um, standard percussion equipment. We have some big bass drums and some a drum set back here. Um, we have some wood blocks, cricket collars, um, tam tam over tam here. Tam tam over here. Piano triangle. We have we played a piano, a grand piano, or a baby grand over there, and uh, we have a vibraphone. Then we also play a lot of found instruments, um, junk percussion. Behind me here, these are all car suspension springs that we used on some of the ambient tracks. Um, there's some chains hanging back there. We have some tin cans. Um, wind chimes. Wind chimes, we did use wind chimes plastic BBs and Justin put some broken pieces of metal on on top of the strings in the piano for one of the ambient and played the piano with broken pieces of metal on the strings and it creates a buzzing sound he did that for one one of the ambient pieces so we use a mixture of standard percussion instruments and Junk. The last step in making a film is the editing process in which we take all the little clips that we have that are out of order and they have extra things on the beginning and end, all the rolling speed market, all that is still on our raw clips and in the editing process you cut it off to the meat of whatever shot you want from whatever angle and you put them all in order and make your story cohesive. When you edit you put together a rough cut, which is basically the gist of the movie, all of your clips in the right order, but you don't have credits or uh, music in it yet. Then you do a fine cut, which is a more precise and finalized version, and then you have your final cut, which is your movie ready to be shown to the public with credits, with music, with everything in it. The last shot! It's a wrap! We're done! We're done! Good job, Hazel. Alright, let's go home.